everybody, welcome to Rock, Paper, Hand Grenades. I'm Matt Connerton, and to my right, he's tired and he doesn't know why, but the Honorable Gary S. Hopper. Hey, Matt. Hello. How do I do the Donald Trump hair thing? Can you do that, or is that something that's actually mechanically possible? Well. Yeah, you'd You're need a lot. There? I'm there. You'd yeah. need less hair, though, to pull, because he doesn't really have a comb over. He has more of a comb forward. A comb forward. And then I like a swirl thing going on. Oh, so it's like you have all the wicked hair, long hair on the back, and then you kind of bring it I around? I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, I don't want to do that. That's I just like how weird. he says China. I like how he says China. China. That's my favorite thing about Trump. You know what my favorite thing about Trump is? What? <clears throat> I was, I was coming, well, actually, I was coming out, I'm, I'm still on the fence. I keep going back between Carly Farina and uh, uh, Ben Carson. So I'm really in favor of voting for an outsider because voting for people that have already been in Washington, it seems like that kind of pollutes their brain permanently. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, Although you've been in Concord forever. I know. I'm not even <laughs> sure I'd vote for me. Um, um, Wait, you didn't introduce me. I'm not going to. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> Ross, you're always in a hurry. Yeah. I know. We had an hour. He, he yeah, might yeah. sometimes he waits till the end of the show to introduce That's the guests. True. You know. Yeah. Well, by the way, thank you to uh, so and so. Right. You know. Well, like also, I have to wait until I can remember the guest. That's name. true. That's true. That can, <laughs> that can take a while. Do you have a website? Yes, sir. A little bit of an inside joke there. Why is that? Remember the the guest? You couldn't remember his name, so you asked him. Hey, oh, oh, oh by the oh, in the middle of just just randomly. By the way, what's your website? <laughs> Yeah, what's your website so people can contact you? Because I couldn't remember the guy's name. Yeah, it was great. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to pull something out of my. Trying to figure out some way of trying to remember the the, uh, the guy's name. It worked. It worked. Yeah. It did. It yeah. did work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> Ross Terrio. Thanks for having me. It's Top always a pleasure. Top of the evening to you, the Honorable sure. Ross Terrio. And school Board Ward Seven. And it's Svelte. It's Schvelt. always a pleasure to be here. Is it Schvelt or Svelte? Schvelt. 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 Yeah. Hey, so I was oh. down at Margarita's earlier. Let's go after the show. I can't. I, that's one reason I ate before because I had to, uh, I got to go home for something. Do you think Mexican music sounds a light, lot like Polish music? I do not. I think it does. I don't know that it does, but did you know there are... Like if you listen to the, the the polkas, you know, like a polka song? Yeah. It sounds a little bit like the Mexican music sometimes. There are uh, places in the country where that's all they listen to on the radio. Polka? But, yeah. Which is or weird. Or Mexican music, too. Or Mexican music. Well, well, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Now to mention it, yeah. So it is the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was my point? I was talking about something, then you interrupted me. Ross interrupted me. I know, right? Was I talking about anything important? You're talking about, like, Carly oh, oh, and Ben. Oh. And you know what I like about Trump? What? He has said that if he gets elected, he is going to uh, uh, try to get passed legislation to allow um, pistol permits to be recognized across the country. Yeah. It's a great that idea. is a great idea. Absolutely, I love that idea. That's one. And the other thing, I was I was going out of coming out of Market Basket today, and a guy just saw the uh, legislative uh, badge and says uh, said that um, Biden was dropping out and not going to run. Yes. Yeah. And I says, oh, I don't care. And he I says, want well, him to run. And oh, it would have split the ticket pretty yeah. good. Yeah. But. But um, I says, I don't really care. He says, You want Hillary? He says, No, I want a Republican. And he goes, oh, then Trump's probably okay. So there's people that are actually, I think Trump has a lot more cross appeal to, you may. to, yeah. uh, to uh, Democrats than any of the other ones would. Cross appeal? And Putin, you know, Putin likes him, too. And Putin likes him, yeah. Putin actually likes him? Putin. Yeah, Putin said he thinks he'd get along, because Trump made that comment in one of the debates, he thinks he'd get along really well with Putin. Yeah. Apparently Putin has reciprocated that uh, those warm feelings. Uh, <laughs> isn't it pronounced Putin? Poutine? No, no, actually not. No, okay. that's not correct. I'm still stuck on the Svelte, Svelte thing. Svelte. So I've been saying it Svelte. wrong. Svelte. That sounds Yiddish, kind of. Svelte. That yeah. sounds like you're splitting it I think it probably is, is Yiddish. Right? It probably is Yiddish, right? Probably. Svelte sounds French, and Svelte sounds Yiddish. Svelte. You guys have both lost a bunch of weight. Yeah. I just realized that. You have something in common. You're birds yeah, of we're a feather. Like, yeah, we're pretty much like identical twins separated at birth by right. other different parents. Like, do you remember right. the movie Twins? That's what I was thinking. With right. uh, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be Arnold Schwarzenegger and he would be Danny oh, DeVito. Oh, I, I <laughs> got that backwards. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other way. Okay. Oh. 
<laughs> so any <laughs> <laughs> oh legislation i yeah. actually I, i'm curious to get your opinion on this because you work sure. in the medical the medical magical field mm-hmm. um i'm introducing legislation hopefully i actually don't have to because i talked to uh, somebody from uh that represents uh catholic medical center and i told her the idea and she says wow we should be doing that anyway Wait, you talk, a legislator or no, somebody else? No, this is somebody. Medical this is center. this is a that lawyer works that, that works with CMC. Okay. So it may be, and this is the ideal thing: is you introduce legislation or start to, and they said, "Wait a second, wait, wait, we'll do this ourselves." That would be the ideal because hmm. then you don't, you're not really telling them what to do; they're just doing it because it's a good idea. Okay. But, but anyway, the Catholic hospital. So basically, the what the Pope says is what we do. Good, excellent, excellent. Um, so the, the, the idea is that when somebody's treated with Narcan, yes, they're supposed to go to the hospital. They're supposed to go to the ER. Okay. And once admitted into the uh, ER, if this bill would go through, it would require the hospital to make sure that person had the opportunity to sit down with a, uh, sobriety coach mm-hmm. before being, uh, um, dismissed or no, not discharged. Com- discharged. Sounds like nanny state legislation. It does, but I don't care. So <laughs> basically, you rhino. A, I know. <laughs> uh, again, um, a sobriety coach is different than like a counselor because a counselor has got a good education, but not necessarily any experience. What's a sobriety coach? I've never heard of such a uh, thing. Okay, a sobriety coach is there's roughly a hundred of them. From my understanding is roughly about a hundred of them trained in New Hampshire already. A sobriety coach is somebody that's been in recovery for uh, two or more years. I believe the limit is two or more years. Mm. And then they go through a 40-hour training class of do's and don'ts, you know, not to, so that they don't step over, over certain boundaries. Mm. Um, and, but the difference is now they're sitting down with somebody who's actually been there, done that. And done are they that. willing to, you know, turn around and then that sobriety coach would have information as to where AA meetings were and A meetings or whatever meetings and it would uh, because there's that window of opportunity when somebody showed up with Narcan mm. just go into the hospital sometimes not all the time but sometimes that that cloud you know spreads uh, splits apart long enough for them to be objective and really want help before they get back out and start hanging around with their friends and then they're back into the same crap again. So it sounds like you're talking from experience. Has it worked for you? What? This sobriety coach. No. Oh. No. I never I I never met one. I just know of them. Okay. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I think he's trying to say something. I feel like he's trying to say something. I do. I get the impression that there he was insinuating so why did they elect you at all to your district for anything? I have three kids in the school system, and uh, they okay. wanted me to look out for their interests on the school board. Oh, your kids did. Well, so that's three votes. Some of the other people, yeah. That's three votes. Three I don't wow. get the. Most kids want less uh, parental supervision, not more. Well, maybe if yeah, they, weird they, kids. Yeah, it's definitely got weird kids. Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> So how long have you been on the school board? This is your two school, years. Two years. Yes, sir. Is, are they all are all two sc- year terms? All school board members are two year terms. In Manchester, there are other. For instance, we do have to deal with Hookset because uh, we have a, a tuition agreement with them. They have varying terms. They have a three year term, two year term, one year term. Right. So they don't all end at the same time. But uh, yeah, we have all two year terms. As does the mayor. Hmm. Okay. So it's more like the legislature than anything. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so. That that was my interest in running and still staying on the board is because of my three kids in the school system. I'm worried about education for them. How's that going? This is your first. This that was your first two year term, right? Yes. You're just finishing that up. What do you think? Uh, as a legislator, you know, you you, you think that you're going to get in, you're going to change the world, you're going to make all these big changes. It, then reality, you get elected, reality sits in, and uh, <laughs> you realize you can only make small incremental changes. But yeah. we've done some good things. We've, um, I have some notes here. Let's see. We've uh, decreased class sizes. We've, our test scores are up. Our, we have some of the best a- AP scores in the state, mm. actually higher than the world, higher than the country. Really? And higher than the uh, New Hampshire average. Our Where? AP which, scores. What, what school? All of them. Manchester, I, I, West, and, and I had no really? idea. That's yeah. really uh, good news. So excellent AP scores. Wow. We have 
West High School, their college entrance exam scores are higher than Pinkerton. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't know that. No kidding. Um, That's fantastic. Uh, our dropout rate's going down. Now, there was six or seven years ago you they did raise like, the raise. Do you have to use, like, chains and stuff like that to make that happen? Uh, or no, our, kids, our kids want to learn. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've made and we've also decreased class size. We've made some small hmm. improvements, but we... I want to keep the momentum up and keep on going. Sounds like big improvements to me. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like small improvements. Yeah, I'm genuinely impressed. You are? And we've done that genuinely. on a budget. We are, <laughs> we, are, we are one of the lowest spending per pupil uh, school districts in the state. Oh, you're skin flints. Uh, we just don't have the tax base. We have the most yeah. poverty. This, you know, uh, Manchester has the highest poverty in, the, in New Hampshire, twice the state average. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that either. Is that, huh? What does that mean? What is the average income in New Hampshire in uh, Ma Manchester? Um, don't quote me on this. The number that I believe for New Hampshire sure are around sixty oh, totally. to sixty-five thousand is household income. Um, How much? I want to say sixty to sixty-five for a, a family in New Hampshire. I think is the average. Okay. Um, we we New Hampshire is one of the highest incomes in the country. Right. Uh, Poverty is something like 7% in New Hampshire, but it's about 14% wow. in Manchester. No kidding. So we're twice the poverty level. But we have a lot of, you know, we have a lot of low-income housing. We have a lot of poor people. So You have I, a lot of uh, uh, immigrants, too, because this is one of those cities they, they ship a bunch of people to. Yeah, we are a refugee uh, sanctuary destination. city. Is no, that no, not, no, we're definitely not sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to be able to quote him, by the way. I can't no. possibly remember all that. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll have to do that later. But, yeah. um, oh, before I forget. <laughs> Maybe we could, just a second. Maybe we could mix and match too, so that the quotes are like you have like separated out. Right, right. And make it look. You could splice. It's right. Splice when everything's out of context, so it's more fun. It is a lot more fun. Go ahead. I'm but sorry. before I forget, so I was on uh, Glenn R. J. Willett's show last week. Yes. And the subject of you two came up. Uh oh. And, and let me say, Glenn's a nice guy. Uh, although, Ted Gatsis is the official mayor of Manchester. I did vote for Glenn. Glenn however. is the people's mayor, so that's yes. count. He's in the heart of the people. Yes. But, uh, so he. Remember when uh, Obama, President Obama, said about Hillary, she's likable enough? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was trying to get him to say something bad about you two. Yeah. But he's essentially along the lines of they're likable enough. Well, he's not currently angry at me. For no, anything. no, no. He said you're likable enough. But this yeah. is what he did say. It was very important for you two to know. Yes. He, he did say that his ratings blow you guys away. Compared, right. You can't even compare his show to your shows. He is like up here and you were down here. Did he say right. that? Yeah. He did say his ratings are much better than yours. Well, he's even wow. bigger in Malaysia than we are. Yeah. yeah. That's because he's taller. He is taller. Yeah. He's especially tall compared guy, yeah. to yes. Malaysian people. Yes. Yeah, so the people's mayor said that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But although he has buried the hatchet, he doesn't hold grudges as far as. No, I'm he concerned. does. He processes things pretty quickly. Yeah, he, he's gotten over your, uh, your slights. Yes. Although. I, They're done with affection. When I pick on Glenn, it is done with yeah. love. It really is. I love the guy. What do you mean, like in a heterosexual way, or yes, in yeah. a very manly, sort of dude bro type of dude way? Yes, bro. yes, a bromance. Yes, bromance. I'll often say. I said to him today, I was like, "Hey, dude, what's up, bro?" What's up? In a very manly way. Right. Yeah, you have to say it like that, or people get to, you know. We don't want Glenn getting the wrong idea because no, he's a little, you know. No, no, we don't want to get no. No. <laughs> You miss coming on this I show. Enjoy, I enjoy. Really it has been a while. That, it's yeah. been a while. Well, I've tried to get on. He wouldn't. I thought. He, I thought uh, G Hop was mad at me. Really? No, oh, just because I, I don't like him. I guess. Right. Yeah, yeah maybe that's. But it. I have to say, it's 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 always fun and relaxing to be on the show. G Hop got no beef with you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. What is that? Can you translate that into proper that, English? That's what they say in the hood. Yeah. I'm originally from Compton. A lot of people don't know that about me. Straight oh, out of Compton. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that out. a section of Concord? No, no. Compton, CA. I was actually a member of both the Bloods and the Crips at the same time. Yeah. yeah. That's how thug I was. Wow. Yeah. I don't really believe that. Oh, me neither. Oh, we have a call. Should we oh, take this call? Oh, jeez. Good. Whew. That was a save by the bell. Maybe it's, maybe it's Glenn. Hey, welcome to Rock, Paper, and Grenades. <laughs> Who's on the line? <laughs> I just wanted to uh, chime in on uh, Glenn's uh, TV show. I, I heard uh, you were talking about Malaysia. Yes. I heard that uh, on the uh, Malaysian plane crash, uh, even though they didn't find any of the wreckage, mm -hmm. they were all watching Let at Large. I don't oh. know how everybody knows that, but uh, wow. they were. I would, I would assume that, that's true. Is that yeah. the cause of the crash or, or just coincidental? Has to be. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would have crashed the plane, too. Well, yeah, because you get, get distracted. That's right. Right. Thank you, Poor sir. Glenn. <laughs> Glenn, again, if you're watching, it's done with love. We love you. 
Or I love you. Not that way. Don't get excited. Anyway, so. Yes, sir. I guess we got nothing else to talk about, really. Uh, you don't have notes or anything? I mean, no. you know, once you blow through the Gwen stuff, it's like, that's where do you go that, after yeah, that? Yeah, right. That's right. really, I know, you know. It's like our fallback. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wait, you know, uh, constituent <laughs> services a little bit. Oh, uh, wait, no, wait. Well, I want to know, I honestly, actually, I actually honestly want to know, what's your uh, take on all the, uh, the Common Core? What, how did you vote on that, or do you get to vote on that? And we did, we did. We, uh, we voted against it. Against what? Common Core, okay. adopting it, and then so Manchester said we'd come up with our own standards called the Manchester Academic Standards. The I've been told those are exactly like Hold Common Core. There. Oh, okay. Let yeah. me answer my question. <laughs> that so was my question. We got a bunch of teachers question. together, uh, worked on the standards. They came up with stands on. So at least they bought into it because they created them. But yes, that people who have gone through the, our standards have said that it's like seventy to eighty percent Common Core. Hmm. But you're not the 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 part that bothered me is under Common Core a lot of this information is going back to the federal government. Is that still happening? Yes, but that was happening before Common Core. Okay. Think about it, like so why why are we sending I, why are we sending any information about the students in Manchester to the federal government? What business is it of theirs? Well, they want other to know, other than statistics. I can yeah, understand that. Well, They've wanted to know race, gender, test scores, age, things like that forever. Although some people are saying it's for nefarious reasons, I don't, I don't know, personally. Well, I was told that they they've changed original. This this is what I've been told. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. true. That originally they wanted um, information, yeah. like like you said, so they know what races are, how they're doing. Um, I don't know poverty, if they you know, because we have Title I schools, so depending on how many kids are living in poverty, there are certain monies available to poorer schools and to poorer student populations. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that stuff I get. Yeah. But that's generic. That's not, you know, uh, little Gary Hopper is, you know, white and he's 10 years old and he's getting in trouble in I class. I hope you're not trying to pass yourself off as 10 years old. I'm mentally. Oh, I'm pretty close to that. Okay. I, would th I would think. Well, you know, you know. Well, well, the Bible says it's if you have. Uh, he was talk talking. Christ was talking to little kids, and and was you know, and he said if if you have you know, if you're like a child, you can get into the kingdom of heaven. And so I've always thought that that meant it was okay to be as immature as I possibly wanted for the rest you of are, my life. You are. That was deep. You are a biblical scholar. I know. Quite the theologian you are. I know. Here, yes, I know. I think that's what Do you remember meant. that movie, Kingpin? Yeah, oh yeah. And yeah. remember when he, they would talk about the Bible and he would say, well, it's in the Bible, right? It's been so long since okay. I've seen it. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say. I don't remember that specifically. But it is a great movie. It kind of reminds me of uh, the, the character in Kingpin. Oh. Well, it is in the Bible. It says that. It doesn't actually use the word immature. <laughs> <laughs> but... No. Uh, okay. Well, let no. As a state, I got a question for you. Oh. As a state legislator, what's your take on sh uh, Sharia law? Should we have it in New Hampshire? Or no. The country? Why not? Should not. Well, I was on the committee, and we, and we discussed um, what, what was the discussion? Somebody introduced legislation to try to eliminate the use of any other legal system in New Hampshire, directed obviously at Sharia law. Yeah. Oh, before let's everybody Sharia law is kind of the Islamic or the Muslim code of law that Islamic countries use. Right, and it's more of a it's not only a code of law; it's also uh, a, a religious tenets yes. and stuff like that. It's not just you know, "Thou shalt not uh, punch Ross Terrio in the nose." It's a great it's song, though. That my Sharia. Yeah, my Sharia. My my my. Okay, so it's good stuff. Um, so we had that that bill in the Judiciary Committee, and the problem with legislating it was that the Catholic the Catholic Church came up and and asked us to vote against it, because. When they're making decisions in the Catholic Church, yeah. it's based on the, the Catholic, um, not doctrine or whatever it is. Um, and so 
if they contract with, say, a priest or whatever, there's certain rules they have to go by that are all based on Catholic doctrine. Canon, I believe. Canon. Canon. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. And under, if that bill had gone through, those wouldn't be those wouldn't be uh, allowed. Or Jewish people use certain um, a certain legal, like in marriages and things like that. Talmudic, that, I think it's Talmudic law. T A L. Tal okay, Talmudic T-A-L-M. law. And but wait a minute, in, in that they use religious law in the courts? No, well that's well kind of because that's kind of the contract. In other words. If, if they use this religious uh, um, edict as their basis for their contract, and it goes to the New Hampshire courts, and they say, oh, "Well, I, e- I agreed, saying. you know, I agreed to do this under this tenet of our religion," hmm. or they broke broke their agreement based on their tenet of the religion, the court should be able to look at that and say, "Yeah, you did kind of break the contract." Hmm. Um, so. Should it supersede state law is another question entirely. Right. But to say that, for instance, uh, the Muslims have a pretty cool uh, system. If you're a Muslim and you want to start a business, yeah. they have you know a sh- Sharia type laws that help other uh, help one another get a business started. Well, it would be really unreasonable for the state to step in and say, no, you can't use that as part of your contractual agreement. Makes mm. sense. Interesting. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's how, it's so all like Changa, how like different things are interconnected. It, yeah, exactly. It's, it's very interconnected, and it's not really up to the state to tell a Muslim person that they can't have an agreement with somebody else based on their religious beliefs. Mm. Okay. Now, where it would uh, run into... Um, problems is if under Sharia law it's our, it's okay to treat anybody that is non-Muslim with uh, less than respect. Let's say dimmies they call it dimitu. Yeah, and it's if d- they started is, uh, if they started a, charging tenants more money because they were Christian or, mm. or pagans versus their tenants that are Muslim, that would be that would be a violation of that person's. Uh, uh, right, so at, at that point the state would step in, but so hmm. far there's been no real conflict, so it's hard right. to really legislate something that isn't a problem. But the Islamophobes, the way they talk, it's like, oh, it's happening any day now, it's going to well, be that's, that's Sharia because law everywhere. Yeah, yeah. That's because, <laughs> from what I, my understanding, is that is happening in sections of uh, England and sections of France mm-hmm. where they, they implement Sharia law and tell, like, they'll uh, berate girls that are going, uh, walking by that are mm-hmm. not dressed with according accordance with uh, Muslim law. Mm-hmm. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look like a younger version of Bernie Sanders. At least it was younger. He included younger. In yeah, that which is nice, yeah. Could mean well, Bernie's kind of up there. He's yeah. 75. He's yeah. 75? Yeah, he's very energetic. How old are you? Uh, old man. You're about, what, 50, what? Go for it. 55? I just saved almost four years. Yeah. yeah 59? Nice. So I'll you're be 59 January. Awesome. So you would be, you could be Bernie's younger brother. I could be, yeah. Me no. And well, really, you could be a son. You, you mean, watch Seinfeld. You used to watch Seinfeld, right? Not that often, but once in a while. I, I saw this meme on Facebook that says that, Ber- and, and it's, I think it's true. Remember on Seinfeld, you had George Costanza, and his, he worked for the uh, Yankees. Yeah, 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 yeah. And his boss was uh, Steinbrenner yeah. on the way. They say that uh, Bernie Sanders sounds just like George Steinbrenner. He's got that New York yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Bernie Sanders. You do? I absolutely, I hope, well, because I think he's honest. Yeah. I mean, you can like someone without it's wanting true, to. True, I agree. I think he's stuck in him. the 60s, though. He's, his politics kind of developed in the 60s, and he never evolved beyond that stage although we had a nice young woman real young uh it was kind of funny came to the my wife's a democrat i'm a republican and uh a young is your wife running, is your wife running in for anything this time i wanted to run uh, not this time she wouldn't do it but i think next year i'll talk her into running for something hmm. state rep she's running for state rep I, she did one year but she didn't she did okay without running. so uh, anyway so young woman she's probably in college right you know 20 ish 21 comes by the house and, and talks to my wife about bernie but what i 
what, what I found interesting was she was driving like a Mercedes or anything, like this really like fifty thousand dollar car mm-hmm. to talk about you know incoming inequality. <laughs> <laughs> Limousine liberal, I think, yeah. is the, the term but, uh, for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But a nice, nice girl. But yeah. uh, but very, very well off. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was. I think it was the same term you you were up in the state house. It was a woman. I would come up to the top of the parking garage, and there was a a uh, what do you call a hybrid? Not Honda or Prius. Toyota, Prius. Yeah. It was Prius. Remember that law they made? They wait, got wait, to wait, park wait. right at front in the state liquor store. Priuses oh, yeah, get to park right. Stupid. Oh really? Right at the front entrance. I didn't know about that. Anyway, there was <laughs> a, there was a Prius, right? And it had a, st- a bumper sticker. That says I am the ninety nine percent, and to me that is just that's ins- an expensive car. Freaking insane! <laughs> it's insane. How can you possibly say you're part of the? I mean, li- technically you are, likely part of the ninety nine percent. Right. Give me a f- break. You know, you got you're driving. What is that? Forty thousand dollars anyway. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Why well, would you want to be part of the ninety nine percent anyway? That's not very exclusive, you know. What I'm yeah, that's that's true. That's not yeah. an exclusive that's, club. That's Think conformity. of a, a, a club that took ninety nine percent of the population. It wouldn't be like, oh, um, you know, it's not like a Rhodes Scholar, you know. Right. No, that would no. kind of yeah. dilute it. I'm more of a rogue scholar. Yeah, Rhode yeah. Island scholar. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I'm probably an oxymoron to use scholar and Gary Hopper in the same sentence. What's an oxymoron? Is that like it's, it's somebody who uses It's an ox. It's not that intelligent. It's not so smart. Yeah. I thought that was that stuff you put on your face if you have acne. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hey, your what? skin's cleaned up nicely. Huh? I remember the last time I was here, you were, you were going with chemo or something? Uh, no, you know, it was radiation. Radiation. You had, radiated. Radiated. You, were, you had like really bad burns oh, yeah. last time I saw you. Yeah, that's all, that's all healed up. Now I just have the, you know, at night my eyes still glow. But that's all right. That's kind of cool. Red, it like helped. like a like a Halloween scary movie. No, it's more like a purple kind of nightlight type look. But you know, whatever. Yeah, you should record yeah. that. You could be the next YouTube superstar with yeah. your glowing eyes. Like Pew- PewDiePie, PewDiePie. What's the guy's name? He, he's a millionaire. Pew- PewDiePie. Oh, I, he's I like annoying. Is but I was just reading the guy. He's parlayed his his annoyingness into a million dollars. Oh. Nice. Only in America. Yeah, well, you've got you've got the internet right there. Go onto YouTube and look up Pew, PewDiePie, a PewDiePie, PewDiePie. Or <laughs> I'll try. You, you wanted <laughs> to come on this show to talk about PewDiePie? No, no, I'm just saying. You think his name's PewDiePie? P E W D I E and oh, then Pi. Oh, P E W D I E and then Pi. Yeah. Pew- oh, PewDiePie. It's one word. Yeah. Okay. He's just a real annoying guy, and he's. Uh, he looks a, annoying. He's made a lot of money. Let me see. I That's, think you yeah, seriously, Matt. You could do that. What? Be annoying? So, well, you could do the same thing he's doing. What's he doing exactly? Just I, being annoying? Well, you'd have to play the video. I don't know, but it, so it's... So you gotta... <laughs> Gary's gonna try to play it. Oh, yeah. You gotta tell it. Boy. No, I shouldn't have picked that one. No, click YouTube, uh, although and then click click Always. If you really want to get a, a laugh, play um, Honey Badger video. Then click OK. Yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Yeah, you're almost this there. Is, this is really good for TV. Yeah. Do you want more value and in then you get an ad. Plan? Right. This year, Tufts Health plan but you can skip the ad. Can you skip the ad? Uh, yeah. There we go. I like it so far. It's awfully quiet. Yeah. It's you, not that annoying. you got to play the vo- it can. <laughs> The volume was up. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just taking a while to load. Matt, you could do that. Because we don't get... Uh, Take a while to load? No, no, you could you could do what PewDiePie is doing and make a million bucks. Yeah? What, just stand in there? Well, it doesn't seem to be loading, but we have no, uh, like, uh, let me see. We have no, like, internet, free internet here. Oh. Oh, wait. No, it's playing. Gary did something wrong, probably. Uh, no. You know what? You know how they, they, they used to have a, in the olden days, it, it was unconstitutional. They used to have, like, a test. Did you to say I'm I don't think this is really exactly, good. Exactly, but the guy's a millionaire. <laughs> Matt, you could do that. You could beat him. Probably. He's dressed up in a duck suit. Is the guy in the duck suit or the other He just guy has this annoying video. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure which one. I think it's the guy in the, in the brown, but I'm not sure. But anyways. All right. Well, that's, that's a distraction. I, Matt, that's, that's a line of work you might want to look into. I will. I'm going to. 
Okay. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> so you, what do you? Uh, can you look into and get back to us on this? How much information on our children is actually getting to the federal government? Like if, if it's just generic information, like we have 10 Hispanic kids who are doing X, Y, Z in school and 10 low-income kids that are doing X, Y, Z, I don't care. That stuff, information that is, is probably very helpful to the federal government to find out if the money that they're stealing from other taxpayers to pay the city of Manchester is actually having an effect. But if they're taking, if, if it's um, what some people claim, is that information being uh, disseminated up to the federal government and is actually specific lo information about specific children. So little Johnny, who's a pain in the butt in school mm. um, and rebellious, when they get to be 18 and, and looking for a job, are less likely to be able to find a job because the employers Because he's rebellious. The rebellious no. people don't usually get jobs. Well, I did. And you, oh, but you were a m machinist, right? Yeah. We need more machinists. There's, not, there's a shortage of them. I know there's a Why shortage. Why don't you go back to work? Because they kick me out because my eyes aren't very good. Uh, they're, they're a wonderful shade of brown. I know that, but they don't see. I can't oh, even, I see what you're saying. I can't <laughs> even see what you're saying anymore. Wow. Yeah. Really? Is it your eyesight set? How do you drive home? I don't. I drive backwards. Uber? Huh? Uber. Uber. No, I don't no. use Uber. How but do you, so how do you get back and forth then? Fast. I drift. The thing is, if you drive really fast, GPS. The probability of actually hitting something in between the two points is pretty good. Is not as good. Okay. Someone just opened that door. That doesn't happen all the time. No, it no, is close to Halloween. It's probably a, yeah, a sign on the door that says they don't open it. But yeah. yeah, you know how those ghosts are. They don't probably really hate this that. Is a bathroom. But anyway, is there any way you can find out for us what the quantity and a and and uh, I guess accuracy of the information that's actually heading, getting to the federal government? I could find that out. Because I'm really curious to know, because I hear rumors that it's, it's a way of people like, for, like Bill Gates finding out, you know. Who, let me get, did, who told you this, uh, Neil Kirk? No, no, not Neil. Seems Neil, to be part Neil, of that. Neil and I don't really talk very well. Oh, really? Isn't he from the same town? Yeah. Um, I, I will tell you one program, though, that probably got people scared. So uh, most of the information is generic. There was a program, uh, a pilot program they are going to do in one of the grade schools or one of the middle schools in Manchester. They're going to get heavily involved and find out a lot about the kids and see what type of, like, social services. Do they need food stamps? Do they need counseling? Do they need, you know, some type of services? But it was going to be heavy involvement on the government's part, you know, job counseling or whatever. Um, so that probably scared some people mm -hmm. because it was so – they were going to get social workers involved, and I, I, I know that scared some people. I think when, uh, when we had Anne-Marie Banfield on, I think she was talking about the federal government collecting this information. But that seems to be a big part of the, com the anti-Common Core narrative. Mm. And, and it does sound a little paranoid, so I wonder. Paranoia? Mm, yeah. Well, I, I just wondered if you can actually find out the, the truth to the matter as opposed to, because what we're being told is people like Bill Gates are going to basically da data mining information about children so they mm. know who to, to cherry them. pick for uh, the next uh, employee of, st of Microsoft or what Google. What about George Soros? Huh? What about George Soros? Okay, George Soros. I don't care. Pick your pick your villain. It doesn't matter to me. But if if that information is di being disseminated to the federal government and handed over to the private corporations, a child that is <coughs> difficult in high school is just lost. A, they lost huge chances in in, mm. in uh, call after college, even yeah. though their behavior in college might have been great. Yeah. You Seems know like I mean? you have a vested interest in this. From that time when you, you got arrested and your dad had to bail you out, is this is this Which what time? this revolves around? <laughs> what time are we talking about? You you were dri you were in a car, <laughs> right? And the policeman said he could see through your back window that you were doing something, and your dad got mad and said, "No way, that the window was too oh. far up, and he couldn't see." How the heck do you remember that? Because you were good memory, about. yeah. Well, yeah. I remember it too. Now the Ross. And your dad up. was pretty upset. He was, although he was a law and order kind of guy, he was very angry. No, he was never really a law and order kind of <laughs> guy. Dad was rebellious. He too. fought at the Chosen Reservoir, right? Yeah, I have to get hats off to him. I was in the Marine yeah. Corps Reserves. I was never in combat, but th that was un unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it was pretty brutal. Uh, brutal um, battle. You know what was interesting? Because he never really talked about it. Like yeah. a lot of vets, don't mm -hmm. they don't want to well, talk. Well, he probably didn't talk to you about many things at all, right? No, he didn't, because he didn't like me. 
Okay. A lot. What do I? Were you the oldest, middle, youngest? The youngest. Usually the youngest kid is usually cuts it easy in the family. No. I didn't even know you had siblings. Uh, yeah, I try not to talk about them. Oh. Did you see a picture of him when he was a teenager? With He's the got long this hair? Long yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks almost like a girl. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did. I Guys um, used to, you know, yell out. Hey, no, baby. No. <laughs> it was either that or the F word. <laughs> <clears throat> a lot. I got that a lot. Because I think it bothered guys. Because now that I'm older, I get it. Yeah. Because you're going by, you're checking a girl out because she's pretty, and then you turn and see, and they got a mustache, and it just. Yeah. It bothers you that you were just <laughs> checking out a guy. And it <laughs> well, not some girls have mustaches. I mean, you well, yeah, the bearded lady at the, in the circus. Oh, so. yeah. Right, that's true. That's true. I guess I shouldn't be generalizing like that. But mm. anyway, yeah, I used to get some pretty nasty comments. But the girls liked it back in the 70s, so oh, I yeah. don't care. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll dress, I'll dress I had long hair in high school. Dress, yeah, when I was 17, I'd dress in a tutu if it attracted girls. I didn't. Hmm. Oh, okay, I'm right, not saying right. I did. Right. But okay, so you would be like kind of like Harry Krishna if it detracted. Uh, girls. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I would have believed what? anything. Or anything to get the ladies. Anything to get the ladies. It didn't matter. Does Brendan know this about you? That's how I met her. Okay. Well, yeah. your brief foray into Scientology was because of a pretty girl, right? Oh yeah, pretty you, girl. Uh, pretty girl in uh, Manchester. And uh, I'm sorry, Worcester. 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 Uh, I was walking um, down the, uh, near the center of town, and pretty girl yeah. goes. Would you like a personality test? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah course. antisocial. Absolutely. <laughs> I've always wanted a personality test. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what did it say? You, you're a theta. What was your theta? theta? Pretty high. What was that? That's when the Scientologists do a oh. personality. That your theta, they want. I think it wants to be low to be good. If it's high, it's not a good thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. Well, I so know. did you meet this? Did you date her? No, no, it didn't work out as as planned. What happened? She was smarter than she looked. Did you have the personality test? Oh yeah, I got the personality test, and they yeah. they tried to go through uh, whatever process they have of trying to train you to. Yeah. Ignore your emotions and stuff like that. I forget what the heck. How long did you becoming so, clear? How long did you part? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the theta part. How long were you in the th Scientology? I was in there long enough to realize it was a cult, and I didn't want yeah, anything but, to do with it. But a few days or how? Oh many? no, it was. It, I, I'm a pretty open-minded guy, and I like uh, to, I like to learn. So it, I'd say it's hard to remember exactly, but two months maybe. Wow. wow! But you never got to date this girl. No. So that was kind of a waste of time and money. It was a huge waste of two months. Here's the, my problem. All religions require a certain degree of uh, suspension of disbelief to some point. Correct. Degree or another. Right. Scientology requires a, a whole boatload. <laughs> but um, because if you, it, you don't believe in Zenu? Well, have you seen the South, was it South Park or, or uh, oh, what was the when they did a whole episode on, on the whole the Tom beliefs. Cruise thing? Yes, yeah, 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 they, yeah. Did, they they showed uh, Zenu coming from another planet. Yeah, <laughs> and he and he he destroyed everybody on the planet, and all the souls came to Earth, and that's our problem. Is all these souls from the other planet are angry and they're in our bodies <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, but anyways. Um, well, that explains it. I didn't actually oh. get. I actually never got that far. But yeah, they did it. They did a. a, a was it South Park? Or yeah, somebody it was did South a cartoon. Park. It was yeah. excellent. Oh, they it was did South Park. They also yeah. did a thing on Mormonism too. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah that yeah. was South um, Park. Yeah, they're brutal but, ones. But, but <laughs> my my huge problem with more, uh, Scientology is they charge you money for the classes. Like, like right. let's say you're going to go to the Catholic Church or the Protestant Church or the Mormon Church, or whatever, or, or a Jewish temple or a, a Muslim mosque. You know, you're going to learn about their religion for free. Yeah, the Scientology as you as you learn about the religion, they charge you money, and then as you move up, you got to keep on paying more money. Right. It's almost like a college courses, right? But they charge you money. Yeah. So I, I have a big problem with that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a bit. Well, L. Ron Hubbard was on record as saying that uh, that's where the real money is in starting mm -hmm. a, a religion. <laughs> Strange enough, L. Ron Hubbard. Well, he wrote science fiction novels. Yeah. But he was also, they claim, mentally ill. And he had a huge problem. That's why he hated psychiatry and, and, and um, medications to treat psychiatric problems because, yeah. obviously, he didn't feel like he had a mental illness. Right. But the government or the medical establishment at the time said that he was mentally ill. Huh? Uh, did you study with him? Or did you no, just read no. up on it? Uh, no, didn't. I just I saw. I learned most of what I know about Scientology from watching that cartoon. Oh, episode. that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, my last meeting uh, with them, I went to uh, with them to... Uh, New York City. Really? So a free trip to New York City, or did free you have to pay? Free trip to New. I didn't pay. Okay. Nice. Then it was, uh, and and there they talked. They just basically exposed how paranoid they were because the FBI was out to get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then um, I went 
um, to Boston for some some get together and and remember at the time it was mostly young people about my age so that was kind of well, fun. So this was a long time ago. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Thirty years ago or I don't know. Let's see. So probably not. not, not uh, is that thirty years ago? Yeah, thirty. So were, were these people strange, or what was it like know, on these meetings? Forty years ago, right? What was it like on these meetings? Forty years ago, well, but it was pre. You were like nineteen. Stuff? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Seventeen, young. nineteen, oh, something well, like you're that. You're a young guy. Yeah. I, I, was your dad still around? Yeah. I don't see your dad tolerating that one bit. I, I see him going in and punching heads. No, Dad. Um, pretty much, if I was chasing girls, he was totally yeah, he okay. Was, it didn't matter. Better, yeah, I understand. <laughs> it that's didn't matter what the, the bro code. Yes, the bro code. Yes. Yeah, he understood. Okay. <laughs> he would. He wouldn't have cared if I was. I if I was uh, becoming a Harry Krishna, if, okay. if the girl was pretty enough. So you um, never met any women through through Scientology. No, but anyway, my last visit was in New York, and they were having a birthday for L. Ron Hubbard. What? What? Just out of curiosity, do you remember when that month and day of no. the? Of the I could have, well actually you could probably Google search when L. Ron Hubbard's birthday I is. I think PewDiePie I, probably knows. Yeah, he probably does. Well, Google probably knows. Yeah. And, and so <laughs> I'll find out. It was uh, L. Ron Hubbard's birthday party in Boston. But he was dead at the day. This is not. He wasn't there, right? Or maybe of he was. Of course not. No. But they had the. You you're too young, probably, because you're just a young whippersnapper. I'm Fifty. Five zero. Okay, I thought you were. I thought you were like. You know, he does look younger six. than he is. I yeah. wish I was younger. He probably uses oil as a way. Yeah. No, but I, I don't know what generation they stopped watching World War II. His birthday is in March. Did you have like Mine's tons and September. tons of World War II, II movies when you oh, were a kid? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and, and Did Westerns, you, too. Did you ever see any of the documentaries about uh, Nazi Germany and the uh, um, the rooms filled with the Hitler youth and the big picture of Hitler on the other yes, side? Yes, yes. They're, they're doing this. Like the Nuremberg rallies and... Yeah. Anyway, I, I went to the L. Ron Hubbard birthday in Boston, yeah. and they had a huge p picture of L. Ron Hubbard at the end of the hall, and everybody's like, you know, s cheering and <laughs> singing "Happy Birthday" to the picture. It's almost like it's almost like North Korea and, and Kim. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Little, little dear, dear leader. Dear leader. Yeah. Dear leader. <laughs> yeah. It was very similar, but I, I, it, what, it, what it reminded me of is the Hitler Youth. Yeah. And that's when I says, "Wow, this is really <laughs> messed was up." Was there a salute in Scientology? No. Not to my, my knowledge. It was just, yeah. It wasn't like that, no. Um, <laughs> but so, the, so you were a Scientologist at one time. Interesting. Not, I don't think I'd go, I, I was studied with them, but I yeah. don't think I ever got qualified as a Scientologist. But anyway, so huh. I went to that birthday party, and I realized how twisted it was, and I wrote them a letter and said that, you know, anybody that holds a, a human being in this high regard, there's issues. And did they get back to you? They said, thank you for your letter. It's really a pleasure to see hear you, and please keep coming. They, they didn't really read it. They just yeah, they sent did. me yeah. a letter in response. Yeah. Um, so. But I still get glossy uh, magazines from them and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I haven't been in contact with them for 40 years. When wow. I was a state rep, I used to get let, uh, letters and brochures from the um, the Moonies. The Reverend really? Sun Young Moon. Yeah. Some, some young, yeah. Yeah. The, you used to be able to got them too then, because I think they sent them to all state reps. Huh. Well, I probably did, but I probably threw them out and yeah. didn't read them. I, I thought they were interesting. So, Matt, just while we're on the subject of religion, so he's a Scientologist or a scientist. Yes. Uh, just, are you like an atheist a or agnostic? Or what's no, your well, I, no, I, I, don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I am, but I used to be Catholic. I mean, okay. I was raised Catholic. But, Reformed uh, Catholic, okay. No, I'm Protestant Christian. I like the Pope. Well, we were Scientologists, but no, we established no, that no. Yes. You did not establish yeah. that. Yes, we have. We were scientists. No, but uh, scientists. So kind of a Catholic. Do you believe in God? I don't know. I I believe in something. Okay, so. Mi so. What about you? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Which one? Um. Uh, Which kind? I would consider the myself good mostly kind the evil kind. Yeah, mostly Baptist, but um. So I didn't know that. For some reason, I thought you were Catholic. My dad was Catholic, okay. and so, so you know, I would attend Catholic church with my father's side of the family, and, oh, and my wife okay. was Catholic, so I would attend Catholic. We, we got married in a Catholic church. Gotcha. Our kids have been baptized. My dad was Catholic, and so half my family's Catholic. So uh, although I, I was never officially um, uh, uh, confirmed in the Catholic church, I, I have sp spent a lot of time in the Catholic church, so I feel, you know, I, it's yeah. uh, although I'm a Protestant, I, I have a... You know, I have rosary beads at home. Yeah. Um, you know, I've had some religious medallions at home of like the, the Virgin Mary and stuff. So it's, I, I consider myself Protestant. But did you accept Catholic Christ as Lord and Savior? Yes, yes. So you're a Christian. Yes. You're a Protestant. Yeah. Yes. My mom. My mom was a Baptist, so she would take us to church also. Okay. We actually went to both churches. Oh. 
Well, are the Baptist? I always hear about the Baptists being super strict and. Not is the that ones, true? I, I think uh, down south, I think. The probably Southern in Baptists the south, are probably, yeah. But up in New England, not so much. Yeah. It huh. d- depends. Yeah. Although, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty easygoing. I, um, as far as religion, I, I, I was reading. Uh, Do you ever read Thomas More's Utopia? No. He, I've not he, read that. He had, there was an excellent quote in there that I read that uh, he said something in Utopia, they had many different religions, and he said that, uh, you know, God loves diversity, and that's, he wanted to be worshipped in many different ways, and that's why he created all the different religions. Mm. Uh, so I, I thought that, I, that struck a chord in me. I like that. It sounds good, but it, does, it pretty much contradicts the Bible. Yeah. Or if he's saying that all the religion beliefs and all the religious texts are true, then... Well, I remember, I remember, no, not really. Yeah, I remember hearing you saying once theologically that doesn't work if no, you're a Christian it because, that, no. that, because yeah. that, that would mean that Christ died for nothing. Yes, yeah, well, so for a Christian would have to follow no. the rules of, of Christ, but it does a Hindu or a Buddhist have, it doesn't, have it a different set of rules apply to them. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, just like different countries. Like no. in America, we have the death penalty, but in Europe, they don't. It says, <laughs> he says nobody shall go get into the heaven that, that doesn't go through Christ. What about people right, that lived that, before sh- Christ, that died before Christ? Let me finish. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets to heaven but through Christ. Mm. It also says that he basically died. You already agreed that he died on the cross for your sins. If the Muslim faith is correct, Mm -hmm. if the Hindu faith is correct, and the Buddhist faith is correct, and that all uh, all roads lead to Rome... Mm then Christ didn't have to die on the cross for anybody because for they could have, no. Yeah. There was no purpose in him dying if, if, you, if you can get to Rome mm. by using another road, there is, there is really no purpose for him to die, I mean, die, die that horrible death on the cross for us. His Maybe he death died on the for cro- Hindus and Buddhists too. Uh, he died for everybody, but exactly. whether or not they choose to accept it or not is up to them. And as far as the uh, um, people who died prior to that, mm, yeah. people are going to be responsible for what they know, not what they could not have known. So there's a different set of rules depending on when you die. N- no, not really. The same set of rules. It's just the, the, the part of the New Testament also says, that, like, basically the – the, um, the the argument that somebody grew up on a desert island and never heard about Christ yeah. are they still saved? Yeah. But it said well, it said yeah. God's creation hmm. itself is testimony to him, to God and to Christ. Okay, so mm-hmm. if they grew up on an island, if they're really seeking truth and looking just looking at a plant, I mean, I I know that they try to to uh, wean children off of this simple premise Mm. in school nowadays. But if you look at even the simplest cell or the simplest thing you can find, it is so profoundly complex that you can see God's creative nature in it. Okay, so people will be responsible for what they know if they're growing up on an island, if they truly seek God, they might not, not call him Jesus Christ, yeah. but they will still find the Savior. Maybe they'll call him Buddha? I, no, because, that, because those aren't consistent with, okay. if they actually found Christ, they wouldn't, uh, Muslims wouldn't be doing some of the things okay. they do. So, don't take this the wrong way. Okay, good. But I have a hard time learning Christian theology from a Scientologist. <laughs> well, I can see why that would be an issue. <laughs> But uh, but anyway, the <laughs> but after the show, let's go get a drink. No, I can't. Yeah, I have not? to go home, cause I don't like you. You can't hang out for ten minutes, or no, fifteen minutes. I can't. I gotta go. You can and, have a, and a glass I don't of water. Drink. You don't. You're mm-hmm. Irish, I thought. No, I know. I'm, I was Irish until I quit drinking. Then I became mostly English it, and Dutch. Oh, Scientology. You can't drink in Scientology. Can't. You? Yeah, that's. Is it. that true? I don't think yeah, they're I think supposed yeah, to. I, think it's I don't correct. think they're supposed to. Oh really? Oh okay. But no, it wasn't because of that. What? Huh. It's because I am Irish, and when I drink, you I, have too much. I'm allergic. I'm allergic. Well, watch us. Me and Matt, I'll buy Matt a drink, and you can hang out with us with the, your witty uh, repartee. You know what I mean? Right. No, thank you. But that, I'm glad you, you can asked. have some water. You can. I don't know. You trying to date me or something? What is your then, problem? Well, Matt's going to be there too. So. Right. I know that makes me feel more comfortable about the situation, but no, I, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyway, no. I don't date women that look like Bernie Sanders. No. <laughs> that was one of my, my cardinal rules. I think that's a good policy. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is a good policy. 
Um, but no, that's that's the the all roads lead to Rome is a very nice idea, but it isn't biblical. Um, what else we got? So are you are you actually going to check into that? Actually, how much information is getting to? Well, if you hang out with me and Matt and have a drink, maybe I might consider it. Wow. <laughs> He is trying to date me. Uh, he's no, I'm married, you know. Yeah, I know. Your poor wife, Brenda, she's an angel. She's a saint. I know she is. She, she is, is a very saintly. nice person, and she's. I, I, I don't envy her. No. <laughs> I don't either. Luckily. Uh, um, so, what else are you going to do if you. If the, the people in Manchester are ridiculous enough to vote for you again? <laughs> Well, I obviously lost the Scientology vote tonight. Right. But, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that, that's all three of them. But, yeah. um, <laughs> I, but I, I'm going to make up with Glenn's vote. I think I have Glenn, RJ, with the people's mayor's vote. So you get the people's mayor's vote. People, I think in, if he gets all the people that vote for him and he gets them to vote for me, I'll, I'll be doing pretty well. When is, wait, when is the election, by the way? Tuesday, November 3rd. So, but are we, uh, what's today? Uh, thir- two, weeks. Two, yeah, weeks two weeks from today. Two weeks. Do you know how many people Yesterday. voted for, uh, for Glenn? I know. I, I want to say about 150 in the city. Okay. Approximately. Uh, Alibaba, though, who spent quite a sum of money, only got about 450 votes in the whole really? city. Yeah. Oh, really? So who who would you get narrowed down to? Uh, Joyce Craig, who's okay. an alderman, and then Mayor. And she's Gattis. a Democrat. Yes, and then Patrick Arnold uh, <laughs> lost, and you know he was third, I believe. Mm. And then there was Alibaba was fourth, and Glenn was fifth. And Matt could I asked Matt to run, but he was uh, he got cold feet. Right. He told me he was moving out of the city. I didn't know where I was going to be living. Right. No. You were going to run for mayor? Yeah. yeah. Next time. Next time. Well, someone or has something. to stop the juggernaut. No, no. That is Glenn R.J. Willette. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Have, have you registered to vote? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Democrat, right? Yes. Excellent. I, re- I registered as will you run? Will you run in the state election? Right, let's Gary, let's get him to run for something in the state next year. Yeah, for state legislator. No. Well, or I, 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 mayor I'm or, or governor that. or... Whatever. Yeah, Jen's trying to talk me into that too, running for the, running well, for the state legislature. You should. It's, yeah. it's just. Well, oh, can I ask you what ward you live in? Uh, well, I'm red, uh, We're on Pearl Street, so oh, I don't okay. know. Okay, so you're near two, I believe. You're right over here near the school administration building, that big brick funny yeah. shape building. Yeah, I used to live on Pearl Street okay. when I first moved to Manchester. I think you should move to uh, to Ross's district just so you can run against him. <laughs> <them. laughs> Yeah, that's true. That'd be awesome. Uh, That'd thanks, be wicked Gary. fun. Yeah, remember that time? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, anyway. Oh, hey, is it over? Was it yeah, pretty much. Work? It so goes quick. What time is it? It goes quick. It's five of. Oh, so we have five minutes. Yeah. No. no, well, you no. Don't. You're supposed to quit early so the oh, next oh, people can come and set up. Yeah. But next week I get. Um, I hope you're paying a producer well. We do. Okay. We pay him a lot of money. Is that true? Yeah. No. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> so <laughs> he doesn't like to brag. <laughs> he deserves he deserves a lot more because it's hunting season. <laughs> if that counts for anything, you should let him hunt on your property. I there don't you care. Go. Yeah. I don't care. Um, what was I? Got any deer on your property? Yeah, we got some. Mostly lately, we've had. A, uh, I think uh, the turkeys are eating up a lot of whatever the deer eat. A lot of turkeys. Oh, speaking of that, the crossbow bill. Remember, you you were a co-sponsor. I was. Yes. Reluctantly, my they, 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 so they did so it covers deer and bear, but it was supposed to cover moose, turkey, and coyote and whatever. But they haven't set the rules up. They're dragging their feet. So we need you to kind of look into that. Yeah, no kidding. I'm oh, sorry, but I believe only unless you're handicapped and you're certified handicapped, you should be able to use one. No, no, it's going to be firearm season, not. Cr- no, no, I know, but I'm saying as far as the laws go, is you can legally get a uh, a crossbow. License to hunt. Yeah. I feel that unless you're handicapped or disabled and legally disabled, yeah. you shouldn't be able to use one. Yeah, they've expanded it, but but not into archery season, only into firearm season. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Well, we got to. Anyway, regardless. next we week I get. Um, oh, wait, whoa, let me get a plug in. So, for oh, Ontario, yeah. Ward 7 School Board, I'd appreciate your vote. Um, like to continue the work of uh, lowering class sizes, increasing test scores, and. Um, what was the other thing? Find yeah, out lowering the dropout you're rate. You're going to find that information out for us. I, I will uh, consider it. You will consider it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to go. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're shut off anyway.